What's up, YouTube? How y'all doing? Uh, September 5th, uh, 2011. 12 days away from the fight of the year. Um, vicious Victor Ortiz versus Floyd Mayweather. Um, I put Vicious Victor Ortiz versus Floyd Mayweather for a reason. Because even though he has the WBC title, he is not really a champion. Um... Ortiz, you know, this is just my prediction video. Ortiz uh, had a good fight with Birdo. You know, we can't take it away from him. He showed up. But Birdo was not what everybody was making him out to be anyway. Overrated. Birdo is flat-footed. No defense, right? He, really, he relies on two attributes, speed and strength. That's it. Um... He, he was supposed to get beat a long time ago. He got beat by, uh, uh, I think it's Luis Colazo or whoever, or whoever it was at that time he fought. Um, he's mediocre at best, you know. Um, so him winning against um, Andre Berto is neither here nor there, guys. We should know that, and if you don't, then something's wrong with you, right? Something is seriously wrong with you. This guy, he's young, he's strong, I give him all that, you know. Um, but Victor Ortiz is right now, for one, you know, how does he get this fight so quick with Floyd Mayweather? Uh, one, because he was supposed to be the next De La Hoya, the next pretty boy Mexican on the Golden Boy roster, right? But, you know, when he went up against Marcus McDonough and quit, right? I, you can't say he lost, he quit, right? Uh, things were stalled for um, Golden Boy Productions for his plan of ascent for a while, right? So... They got on some hush hush fights, you know, a bunch of guys he should have beat. Born, uh, who do you fight? Um, a couple of people, I can't even remember their name. Um, you know, had one draw, knocked out pretty much everybody else. I think he fought some, I can't remember the dude's name. But anyway, a bunch of has been names, you know. Now he gets to fight for him, Mayweather for a money fight. But this is just Golden Boys. Uh, this is just Golden Boy getting that money back. You know, that's all Golden Boy is doing is trying to get that investment out of this guy before he gets beat by someone mediocre, you know. So he has to fight Floyd so they can get that money out of him. You know, so that's that. Um, Floyd Mayweather Jr., um, you know, people's waiting for him to have that moment, you know, that Roy Jones moment when he's just not, his reflexes aren't just that good or his defense isn't just that great on that particular day I don't I don't see it happening not with Victor Ortiz not within the next you know um, four to five years Mayweather's body his conditioning he is not aged the way you guys think he is his 34 is a 24 he's in peak physical condition all of the time they say, oh, he got slow with Mosley. He fought that fight with Mosley because that's the fight he could fight. I mean, he didn't have to box really Mosley to win. Mayweather uses the tools as they become appropriate, right? As they are necessary. That's what Mayweather does. If he has to find it, if he has to throw combinations with a fighter, that's when he'll use it. If he has to up his defense, that's when he'll use it. If he has to put it on the speed game, that's what he'll use. If he has to put it on a brawl, that's what he'll use. He's a complete fighter. There's no way in God's green earth, again, I say this all the time, the world we all love, live in and love, that Victor Ortiz can beat Floyd Mayweather. If Victor Ortiz had his greatest day, so let's say his fight with or uh, Birdo, and Mayweather had his worst fight, and again, I would say uh, the worst fight you could say he ever had was uh, against. 
Jose Luis Castillo, right? He's still better than Ortiz on his best day. He's still better than Ortiz on his best day. It's a, it's, it's a good fight. I think it'll be interesting for round one to maybe one and a half. Early second round after that. Ortiz is not ready for Mayweather. No way, no how. Not on his best day. He's not ready for Mayweather. He's too inexperienced. He's too flat-footed. He really has no defense. His speed is not up to par with Floyd Mayweather. He's not smart enough. Now, if he was smart, he would never got knocked down by Andre Berto. Right? Boxing is a thinking man's game. It's not about strength. It's not about speed. It's not about power. It's about outthinking your man and doing the right adjustments at the right time. That's what Floyd Mayweather does. Uh, the undercard is looking pretty promising on that fight, though. I think it's a pay-per-view world worth buying. If you're a boxing fan, I would recommend it to others um, getting that fight. But, I mean, if you don't see this fight going one way, you know, if you're a Victor Ortiz fan, stand behind him. Let's get the pay-per-views, you know. Um, but I can't see Ortiz beating Mayweather, not on his best day. The 24-7s. He's trying to hype it up like, you know, he was wanting to fight Floyd since he was nine years old. And um, he was born to do this. And his adversity prepared him for this fight. He went through the same stuff that he's talking that prepared him for, Mo, for uh, Mayweather when he fought Madonna. And how did it help him then? It won't help him now. You're the same fighter, man. You're the same fighter as Jess. You were more cautious coming up. You guys took that Madonna fight. You thought it was a winner and it was a loser. You came up to a fighter, you thought that you was going to be able to fold him over, and he didn't fold. What do you think is going to happen when you come up against a fighter who's not going to fold, who's smarter than you and more talented than you in the ring? It's going to be an ugly night for Victor Ortiz. I mean, I'm glad he's getting a payday. Hopefully, you know, he'll have a couple more fights after that. Um, you know, I think they should have put him in there with, like, Mosley, you know, to prove his prove his metal, you know what I'm saying? Because um, Berto's not a challenge. You saw this, his fight this weekend. Berto really is still the same fighter. He stopped dude on cuts, but he really is the same fighter. He's not impressive. He he doesn't do anything that impresses me. He stands in front of you and gets tagged, and hopefully you don't knock him out. And he hopes that he knocks you out before you knock him out. I'm not impressive with this dude. But hey, that's it. Uh, shouts out to my people online, uh, Melani99, female boxer fan, beautiful woman, um, you know, um, who else, Rick Ross, Rick Ross, uh, real good videos, Mr. Opal, um, of course, Gambino, Carcino, uh, the boxing historian, um, a big ragu, you know, just a lot of good people, you know, Vibeck, uh, Mr. Dwyer. Um, boxing is still alive, guys. You know, it's it's a lot of people with a lot of different um, perspectives, different aspects. And you can become educated in this sport if you just pay attention and keep your, keep your heart and your mind open. It's a lot of different aspects you need to learn about it. You can make money off of it. You can be a fan of it. It's a great sport. So, um, you know, it's your, it's your boy, The Last Days, 100.